Alright, welcome back to Relics of Hyrule, the series. This is episode 121. Um, 121 is interesting in that it can, it's 11 squared. Yeah, 11 times 11. Anyway, um, first things first, I wanted to do something here. Uh... Okay, she doesn't have anything in her inventory except the Falmer arrow. That's interesting. <laughs> and what does she have in terms of... She has a Dawn Guard sword. Dwemer prototype, I will take that. I just want to take all of her Relics of Hyrule stuff. Um, um, because I just want to make sure that I have it. She can keep the Fairy Letter, because those are... I have one. She can keep hers. Everyone else. Alien armor. I think. Knight's crest. Staff of tornadoes. Okay, I think that's fine. Um. I sort of want to take this and the knights. I'll take what I want, whatever. I don't know what she has in terms of armor. I think she's now wearing some weird robes. And what do you right have? Behind you. Yeah, that's great. If you think it'll help. Um. You do not have anything that's Relics of Hyrule related. Um, so here's what I'm going to do. I'll be with the Dawn Guard if you need me. Uh, Serana's a lot of fun, and Ignatia has been a lot of help. But... Can I help you? I'm heading home if you need me. I don't know where she goes, but... <laughs> she goes somewhere. She's following Serana. She can keep the Armos shield. Those are pretty easy to make and get. Um, which one was it? Was it this one? Yes. But I sort of want to go alone now. For for now. I guess I'll have to put away the armor of the palace. Now, while we're putting this stuff away... I had something I wanted to get off my chest. There is this idea that comes up every so often, not in my comments, but I've seen it in other places. Um, there's this idea that people mention every so often that I wanted to talk about and offer my opinion. The idea that Breath of the Wild is not a real Zelda game. So, I think that idea is one of the most entitled, idiotic, ignorant, selfish, dumb ideas I've ever heard. <laughs> and I'm going to tell you why. It represents just a serious problem with fandoms that they think that they can make those kinds of decisions. As fans of an IP, <laughs> we cannot make those decisions of what belongs in the franchise. The name of the game is The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. It's a Zelda game. It says so in the title. Come along, no more stops. We need to find our way to solitude. Why are we even going to a wedding at this far flung end of the Empire anyway? I told you. <laughs> How fitting that I just killed a troll while talking about this stupid idea. Anyway, um, I want to go to Whiterun, that's what I want to do, because I need to do the Dragon Hunt quest. So, 
Yeah, let's just walk to White Run. Okay. Oh, suddenly it's brighter. <laughs> anyway, yeah, so I mean, that's basically it. That's all I'm thinking. It's just that that idea makes my blood boil, makes my left arm go numb. Also, I taste copper. Um, it, like, the we can't just, you know, arbitrate, just because we don't like something, or just because it doesn't fit the traditions of the franchise. What, Super Mario, Super Mario Odyssey isn't a real Mario game because there's no super mushrooms? Things have to evolve. Um, Twilight Princess was criticized for being too much like Ocarina of Time. And now Breath of the Wild is criticized for not being enough like Ocarina of Time. You can't make those decisions... It's a Zelda game because it has Zelda in the title. Triforce Heroes is a Zelda game. Is it, like, groundbreaking? No. You can't expect every single Zelda game to live up to the ones that came before. I know there's a few people who think that Link to the Past is the best Zelda game ever made and everything else has been crap, and that all the 3D Zelda games are worthless... It's a similar thought. Like, you can't expect Zelda to... I don't, I don't know. I don't know. It's just really frustrating to have people say that Le Breath of the Wild is not a Zelda game when it definitively is based on the title alone. <laughs> I don't know. It's just incomprehensible to me. Absolutely incomprehensible. I don't like soy sauce, but I don't write articles arguing that it doesn't exist. You need to, like, hide better. Still working on um, getting a light on the Poe lantern here. Um, let's get the cane of Patchy. Oh, he's dead. Okay, I'm not gonna pick up that beacon arrow. Glass, ooh, glass trident. That's really cool. All right. I know this is normally where you know someone would say, "I'm curious about your thoughts. Do you think Breath of the Wild is?" It? No, no, I'm not interested in what you think. <laughs> It's a Zelda game. It's called Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Ah, whatever. <sighs> oh, look, a giant. Listen. Shut up. What are you doing? Where are you going, Bryant? I mean, giant Bryant. Brian the Giant. Yes. That's his name. People said similar things about Rogue One, Star Wars, uh, Rogue One, a Star Wars story. People were like, oh, it's not a Star Wars movie. It's about the Death Star. Grand Moff Tarkin is in it. There are stormtroopers. It's a Star Wars movie. Like, what? <laughs> it's in the same universe. You can't, you're not allowed to make those decisions. You can't decide what just because it's different, it doesn't belong. That's just stupid. Oh, I guess. Oh, yeah. So, you there, shut up. Traveler. Oh, Over here. hold up, one moment. Don't don't worry. Don't worry about me. Yeah. Hi. What do you want? That's never should have come here. Oh. 
All right. <laughs> um, I oh yeah. So I wanted to make an announcement. Um, I've decided that blue is not a color. It's not a real color because, um, you know, before blue there was red, orange, yellow, and blue comes along, and it's completely different. Uh, it's not as warm as red. It's not as bright as yellow. So I've decided that it's not a color. It's not a real color. Um, green was a little different from the other ones, but it's similar enough to yellow that I think we can give it a pass. But blue, blue is not a real color. The developers of blue didn't know what they were doing. And the less said about violet, the better. Come on, it's just such a dumb... Okay, I'll stop talking about it. I think I've been ranting about it for too long. <laughs> oh, goodness. I do not want to go in the, the back way. I want to go to the Banner and Mare, and that's where I'm going. Um... Because the Cane of Samaria, whenever the block appears, it does Havoc effects in a radius. And I'm aware of that, and I'm keeping it for now, because if a block just appeared out of nowhere, the air would rush out of where it was, that displacement, so there would be a shock wave. But if it messes up too much, I might try to reduce the radius of that explosion so it doesn't do too much. But yeah, I want to start the Worm's Tooth quest line. That's what I'm doing this episode. Um, we still have a few minutes left. Not gonna talk to you. For a challenge, Shut up. In the right place. I don't care about your stupid challenge. Hello. Ah, you made it. I was beginning to think you were never going to show up. I had to make a few steps. Well, I'm glad you've got the luxury of time. Unfortunately for the rest of us, we may not be so lucky. Oh, shut sure. up. The problem is straightforward enough, I suppose. A dragon has been attacking settlements throughout the holds. Contingents of guards have been sent after it, but the damn thing has so far managed to evade all our efforts. Oh, but where are my manners? Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Lurius Leo with the East Empire Company. How shall I put it? Dragon attacks are very bad for trade. They're also very bad for settlements throughout the Holds. Hence, a commonality. We've been cooperating with the Yars to pool our resources together towards finding a solution to this issue. I'm sure the collective bounty of 10,000 gold on this dragon should stir enough sword wavers into action should my plan fail. <laughs> sword, sword wavers. <laughs> I know of some mercenaries with exceptional talents. They've worked with us before, and they'll undoubtedly work for us again. For the right amount of coin, of course. Just tell me what the dragon is. Sure, if you really think you can take on that dragon by yourself. But don't blame me if it manages to get away. I suppose I can send Theoden to collect the rest of the mercy while you're gone. <laughs> though he had a hard enough time finding you. <laughs> Theoden. watch say that the dragon we're after has been recently returning to a perch somewhere up in the mountains to the south. If we're lucky, we might be able to ambush it when it returns. It's likely roosting at Ancient's ascent southeast of Falkreath. Godspeed, Dragonborn. <laughs> Theoden is uh, not spelled that way, um, but Theoden is. Hey, that's you. You're Theoden. Um, Theoden is a character from Lord of the Rings, King of Rohan. Hi. I'm not getting paid. Shut up. Listen, listen, you little dip. I can punch your skull in. Friggin' Dragonborn for crying out loud! Don't call me a half wit. I could have used, um, Pharaoh's Pearl. I didn't need to leave the, uh... 
Spanish bear. Okay. Let's do. Is it this? Yes. Secret Grotto, South Falkry. So something I noticed about my timer app on my phone is that the dot moves counterclockwise while it's counting down, which is interesting. That's actually kind of clever now that I think about it, because um, it's counting down, so of course it would go counterclockwise. Anyway, let's go to Ancient Ascent. This, this kind of glitched, didn't it? Because that's Floral Host. Huh. That was, um, that glitched out big time. Oh, come on, lag. Hanging. Ancient's Ascent. Where's Ancient's Ascent? Ancient Where's anything? Ancient's Ascent. Right there. It's right there. Bone Chill Passage. I wonder... I find Bone Chill Passage, and I think... I think Bone Chill Passage might just lead to it. Oh, come on! Stop doing this! Okay, yeah. I could always use try to use the cane of Samaria to climb this mountain. It wouldn't be easy. Ooh, somebody had a bad day. Won't be needing that anymore. I don't really like having the Get out of my face! Anyway, I was gonna say I don't really like having... What do I have? Oh, that's my shout. This, however... Maybe I'll switch to that. That's actually pretty nice. I'm gonna have that... Nope. That's gonna be my three... My, um... Offhand weapon. That is the golden sword... Little passage. Yeah, Bone Chill Passage will lead to Ancient Ascent. Quick save. Let's quick save because I don't want it to crash while I go in, just in case. And once again, if you want to see me use a weapon from Relics of Hyrule, I'm going to be using the Golden Sword for a while. But if you want me to see, want to see another weapon, a different weapon, uh, feel free to let me know. Um, I'll be happy to oblige. It can be any weapon or shield, even. Um, Two-handed weapon, one-handed weapon, doesn't matter. I will do my best to use it in the series so that you can see what it looks like being used. Need a hand? Oh. Okay. Um. 
Well, the easiest solution to this is... <laughs> I need to drink a cure disease potion. Because... Oh, it was those Stendar vampires. The vampires dressed as the vigilance of Stendar. So here's the thing. This is not how skeletons work. Actually, no. This, no. False alarm. This could be held together by ice. But this is more how skeletons work. Um, because your hand bones are connected by cartilage and tendons and interstitial tissue. Um, and same thing with the two bones of your arm. So this should be just all scattered into pretty much just a pile of junk. But So this is more realistic. Slightly more realistic. And I could turn off auto-saving while, uh, you know, in transitions like this. But I don't want to because the game isn't that stable and I don't I want to have that extra buffer. So while loading screens are annoying, they help. I don't think the cane of Samaria is gonna be very useful. What do you mean failed? Where'd it go? Was there ever a dragon? I heard. Oh, whatever. I saw that text that subtitles come up. That doesn't look like it's made of metal. It looks like it's made of polished wood. The bottoms look metal, but the stick itself doesn't. Okay, well, I guess I'm going back to Whiterun. I'll bring you back when I get there, because that was kind of pointless. Alright, let's see how annoyed this guy is. Wanna hear a little Lord Wisdom? You don't really know a woman to give a strong drink and a fist fight with her. Where is he? There he is. You're back. I was beginning to think you may never return. So, how did it go? Did you slay the dragon? What do you mean? What are you doing here? Shouldn't you be out there pursuing it? Wormstooth. It's a small island with a mining settlement off the north coast of Solitude. I manage the ore shipments from the island. If that's where the dragon is headed, then I've got a bad feeling about this. The mining settlement at Wormstooth isn't exactly fortified against a dragon attack, and our revenue will suffer if we lose shipments. Then it's worse than I thought. Likely we'll be walking into a trap, but at this stage I don't believe we have any other option than to pursue it. I'll have a ship ready at the docks in solitude. Meet me there and we'll set sail for Wormstooth. I shouldn't need to remind you that we won't know what to expect when we arrive. You should stock up on whatever supplies you need before we depart. And don't forget, that 10,000 gold bounty is still up for grabs should we actually manage to pull this off. Okay. He, oh, he's, he's in a hurry. He's not walking like they usually do. Alright, well, I guess I'm warping to the uh, Hoffengar secret grotto. Whoops. <laughs> There we go. Okay, so we have to go to Solitude. The Solitude. Wait. Do we have to wait for him to get there? <laughs> yes, we do. <sighs> Well, I guess I'll walk to Solitude. Okay. We're at the docks. I don't think he's here yet. Looking to hire a 
boat? Nope. I'm good. You talk to Ed Brothers. Deja has no words for you. What? Oh, Egg Brothers. Okay. Um. We're still waiting for him to get here. Tell you what, I'll just call the episode here because it's gone on long enough. He's he's still on the road. <laughs> He's going to take his time getting here. So we'll we'll get this going next time. Um, thank you very much for watching. And uh, catch you later.